guys and welcome to my channel. I am Tabile Sajwayo, better known as Tabile the Cook. To start off um, with my cream spinach, I am going to use butter, right? I am going to use three heaped tablespoons of butter. My pot is already hot, as you can see. Right? So that's my everything. Uh, pot was already hot when I added in my butter right and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add in a little bit of onion right and I'm gonna allow my onion to cook in the butter and I'm also going to add in I've got some buttoned mushrooms that I've cleaned and cut right so I'm just going to add that in there And then I'm just going to mix that together. So I just want my butter and my mushrooms to cook. Um, not my butter, my onion and my mushroom, I mean, to cook. So this is just a handful of mushrooms. Right, so they've all been covered with the butter. So just let that go for about a good two minutes so that it cooks so just allow everything to saute you don't want anything burning you just want your but your mushrooms and your onions you know to cook um together and just incorporate and then once you know your mushrooms are now soft and your onions are translucent then i'm going to add in a tablespoon of aromat so i just sprinkle that in and then mix all of that together always scrape the bottom of your pot if there's anything that sticks to it right because this is flavor and if you don't scrape it off then what tends to happen is it's going to turn into um it's going to burn and then you're going to have that uh bitter burn taste right and you don't want that right so now that i've mixed all of that together i'm going to now take my spinach i've got chopped spinach it's just a bag of spinach and then i'm gonna put that in there right and you know how spinach is the biggest scam right what you put in and what you get out are two different things <laughs> prepare yourself for some shrinkage so that's why i always use a big pot um when cooking spinach um because you know when it starts off it's so much and then by the time it's finished ah it's a scam but anyway so just mix your spinach in with your mushrooms Mix everything together, lower your heat um, to a medium low. See, it's already starting to wilt on me as I'm stirring it. <laughs> I told you all spinach is the biggest scam there is. So just stir that, you know, stir your spinach, scrape your pot. You know, work it, work it. Look at that. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Yo, spinach, guys. The biggest scam, as I told you. Right. So now that my spinach has wilted, I'm going to go in with my milk. Because you are making cream spinach after all. We need milk. Right, so now that my spinach has fully wilted, I'm going to start working on the cream part of it, right? Because we are making cream spinach after all. So then I'm going to go in with a cup of full cream fresh milk. 
and it's just going to mix all of that together get the spinach that's on the side you know and a cup looks like it's not going to be enough so i'm going to go in with another half a cup because what's going to happen is that it's going to boil right um and as it boils a lot of it is going to evaporate so i've gone in now with one and a half cups of milk and i'm basically just going to close my pot and then allow that to boil for seven to, to ten minutes so this has been boiling for the past 10 minutes now right and i just needed for everything to incorporate sorry about all that steam um so i just needed for you know the spinach to get creamy the mushrooms to fully cook you know um and you can see the color of the milk as well has turned into this uh, yellowish greenish the spinach though is still this beautiful crisp green color um and we want that you don't want your spinach to be pale and 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 gray uh, so what i'm going to do now guys i can't emphasize enough the importance of tasting um your food oh, it's so good like i love my cream spinach because it comprises of so little ingredients yet it is so tasty so i'm just going to add um a little bit of aromatic in about a quarter teaspoon and just mix that together as i was saying i really enjoy this cream spinach because it's so it's so simple comprises of so few ingredients yet it is so nice and people actually miss it with when it comes to cream spinach like yo i don't know what people do when they make cream spinach but yeah nah it's a problematic one so anyway um everything is now cooked and then what i want to do is i'm going to add uh, a cream of mushroom soup i'm going to use this as my thickener but also to enhance the flavor of um the mushroom so i'm going to put in a heat tablespoon of cream of mushroom right so in a bowl i've just got my tablespoon of cream of mushroom um, i'm going to put in two actually two tablespoons of cream of mushroom and i'm going to take some milk uh, throw some milk in there and i'm going to stir it with milk and the reason why we actually stir it on the side and not put it directly into um, the pot, a cream of mushroom as is, is because you want to get rid of the lumps. If you put it as is, you know, without mixing it first on the side, it gets, you see all these lumps, um, you're going to get these lumps. And basically what the lumps are is the cream of mushroom that is not um, mixed. So it's still flour yeah so to speak so you want to get rid of the lumps before you put it in because you don't want to be eating your cream spinach and then there's a lump of unmixed cream of mushroom so just mix that until smooth right and then once that is now nicely smooth then you're going to throw it in here And then I'm going to mix all of this together. Look at that. You see what I mean? It also adds as the thickener. Look at how rich. And this is your, your cream spinach. So I'm just going to um, close it and then allow it to cook for an extra two minutes just so that because cream of mushroom in um, involves flour it has flour in it so you always need your flour to cook so this is my cream this is my cream <laughs>